what is going on guys it is G6 Zombies here today and I am back and I'm doing a Zer video so we're here at the tower and uh, I've had a quick look around I haven't seen what he's got yet so uh, let's go and find out he's up this way he's at the uh, tower hangar where all the uh, ships come in so we're gonna go run down there now and he is so if I go this way if you go down the stairs here and then take a right down the stairs he is here hello Zer Oh, I've not seen you in ages. I've got like 130 strange coins. Uh, but not on this character. Wow, what a noob. Right, okay. So anyway, he has the glass house. That's the uh, new helmet that came out in the April update. Uh, blessings of light. Yeah, oh yeah, you know, this is actually pretty good. Blessings and weapons of light last longer. That would be good with uh, intellect, strength. Uh, that's good as well. Yeah, no. This uh, this helmet on the whole is really good. I recommend it for a titan. For the hunter that don't touch me, so I don't really like these, but it depends on your play style. Um, you know. Anyway, onto the ram. I really like the ram, but the um, the light beyond nemesis is better. But this is good if you don't have light beyond nemesis. So, because all void melees trigger life steal, so that was really good. Uh, the red death, which I'm really surprised at, because I've been trying to get the red death from red death, red death, red death, red red death for months, and then it finally dropped uh, a year one version. So I bought the year two version from the uh, blueprints, and then I um, just infused it straight up to 320. And then when the April update came out, it went straight up to 335 or 334 at the moment, I think it is. Um, but on the whole, I really, really recommend this weapon. This weapon is good. It mows down in PvP. It mows down in PvE. It's so it's a good weapon on the whole. Because um, as soon as you get that kill, it speed it heals you and speeds up your reload. So it's so good. Like so, you could be playing trials and you could be on last hit, get a kill, boom, your your life is back up. Or on the raid, you're gonna die because Oryx is spamming you. Kill an ad, kill a bloody f taken throw your health is back so it is really good I really recommend this weapon for the raid for the strikes for the Moloch I recommend this I recommend this uh, red death and then he obviously has a year one legacy engram uh, it's gonna be year one so there's no point buying it people buy these thinking they're gonna get the um, they're gonna get the Zen Meteor they're not gonna they're not going to it's gonna be a year one sniper so if you if you wanna get try and get patience and time and then buy the year two version go ahead buy this but, uh, you're better off buying three coins, really. Um, and then obviously you've got the plasma drive, which he has every week, and then the emerald coil, which he has every week, and then the same as uh, heavy ammo um, synthesis, three for one strange coin, and the three coins which everyone buys, which I'm going to go to my vault and grab my strange coins and buy. And uh, glass needles. Uh, I don't use these, to be honest. Um, but, you know, it changes the perks on your exotic gear I don't I don't see the point most of them have really good perks anyway it's just to change like the intellect and the discipline and that you know I mean you could do it and then obviously motor light which no one really buys unless you're desperate for motor light to be honest but yeah that has been Zer's inventory for this week hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did smash the like button down below and subscribe for more destiny content in the future